think we have. I think yeah. we have it. I think we got it. I've always wanted to take these crazy, beautiful, fashion campaign-esque outfit photos. In fact, one of the reasons why I created this YouTube channel in the first place four years ago was to explore my desire to create beautiful visuals combined with my love for fashion. I wanted to tell stories. And before making videos, my favorite medium to tell stories was through the lens of photography. There is nothing more creatively fulfilling for me than to imagine a really cool photo in my mind with a sick outfit and a stunning location and somehow make that vision into reality. And I want to get back to that. I want to get back to that feeling of capturing that dream photo. So in today's video, we're going to do just that. Here's how to take the perfect outfit photo. Step one, find the perfect outfit. Step two, find the perfect location. Step three, find a great photographer, or if you don't have one on hand, ask your partner or a friend. Step four, make the vision into reality. That's gonna be the hardest part on this occasion. to get onto the train, going to the airport. We're going to Iceland, baby. I've always wanted to take a photo out in nature in a picturesque location dressed in an all black suit. At first, I imagined a photo on a large cliff, wind blowing against me, gray clouds, gloomy weather with a very moody vibe. But as we were scouting for locations, we stumbled on this gorgeous black sand beach in Southern Iceland called Reynisfjara, which led us to the very spontaneous decision of embarking on this journey. Going to to Iceland to take the dream outfit photo. Oh, I just realized I've never actually introduced my team properly. These are the people behind the scenes that help me with all of my content. Videographer Viet, the man behind the camera and behind the edits, and a hopeless romantic with his girlfriend. <laughs> Sorry, ladies. Assistant Daisy, she keeps the ship afloat and me caffeinated, doing everything from managing my calendar to writing the YouTube descriptions for you guys to find my outfits. And she loves a good pastry. Cameraman and drone operator Hayato, he's just joined the crew for this trip to help out with filming and getting some of the epic drone shots that you'll be seeing. And yes, he looks like my long lost twin. The man is half Japanese like me, loves cameras and loves fashion. Crazy, I know. And this is my girlfriend, Savara. Here for moral support, she is talented in many ways, but most of all, she does not give a damn, which means she's very fun and entertaining to be around. Okay, finally made it to the airport. 2.30 a.m. Had no sleep, man. Did you manage to get any sleep in? Like two hours? Yeah. That's better than me. I probably had about half an hour. That was it. What do you think? They're quite mixed. <gasps> These are a win. <laughs> Let me try this. Oh. Yes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Swag. The start of the journey was not an easy one. We got up at midnight to leave at one in the morning. So we were only able to sleep one or two hours at most. Yo, Tim, you okay, man? I'm just tired, man. I'm tired. I haven't slept since yesterday before work. <laughs> in, in like two days, I've gotten like three, three and a half hours. I'm feeling great. Once we land in Iceland, it's gonna be like, go, go, go. We're gonna get in the car, drive to the hotel, get to the location, and then just shoot when yeah. the tide is low. So let's try to get as much sleep as we can. Sounds good, man. Now. I love sleep. <laughs> and we still had a long day ahead. Perfect. I'm about to go to bed. So I suggest everyone get some sleep and I'll we'll see you in uh, 30 minutes. <laughs> Joys of airport coffee. No good? This is uh, one of the worst coffees I've had for sure. The more I drink it, the more I'm, I'm okay with it. Yeah. Like it gets better the more you drink it. 49, okay, cool. About to board a plane, finally going to Iceland. By the way, do we even know why the sand is black? It's like volcanic rock because they're so violent. The waves are like crashing into it, like breaking up chunks. I think that's how it Okay, happens. makes sense. 
Water bottle. Water bottle. Water bottle. Water bottle. Water bottle. How'd you say it, dude? Water bottle. Tim? Water bottle. Water bottle. Water bottle. Water bottle. Okay, okay. It's water bottle. Yeah. yeah. It's water bottle. Yeah. I like VF. Yeah, water bottle. <laughs> Alright guys, it looks like we are finally about to take off to Iceland. I'm excited and tired at the same time. After a night of almost no sleep and refueling with some coffee, we finally arrived to this surreal country that is Iceland. We had barely just left the airport and already the scenery was mesmerizing. It felt like everywhere you looked was a visual paradise, only slightly disrupted by the girl singing in the car. Ooh, look what you made me do. It was easy coming back and it out. <laughs> we have arrived guys. Welcome to Iceland. So far, everything was going according to plan. The outfit was ready, the skies were clear, there were no delays with the plane, but there was one key element that we had underestimated, which is that Reynes Fiara is not just any normal beach. And I'm not talking about the black sand formed by volcanic eruptions. I'm talking about the fact that Reynes Fiara is Iceland's most dangerous beach. Reynes Fiara Beach, also known as Black Sand Beach in Vík, is one of Iceland's most dangerous tourist attractions. The and it is so dangerous precisely because we have lost what happens is Reynes Fiara has these waves that they call sneaker waves and if the wave catches you like have you seen videos or we've yeah. seen a few yeah, 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 yeah. yeah we've seen a few yeah so you can see the videos of like where one of the persons this year got caught out they don't really come in like big surfing waves in so when they come to the sand and if your feet are in the sand underneath the waves you lose all your footing and it becomes very heavy okay it's not comfortable. So imagine the water is two degrees and it's pulling you out. Yeah. You're not just hit by the wave, it's just ripping you out. It's like and it's cold as, uh, yeah. So if you see one of these waves, you have to sprint in the opposite direction and hope that it doesn't catch you. Apparently four people had already died this year from these waves. It's really dangerous. A couple of people died this year. I think three or four persons drowned this year on the ice. You have to be really careful because the, those waves are coming, like sneaking up on you. And then there's like a nice cave and people sometimes get trapped in it and then the waves are taking you back. And I can't even swim, so there is absolutely zero shot of me making it alive. Every three or four waves are bigger than the ones before. Don't turn your back on the waves. Okay. Oh. Because the rip tide is so strong that if you go out, nobody's getting you. And the water is so cold that you have minutes. What? But it's really beautiful. So the three keys, all, right. all the rooms are up on the fourth floor. So I just want to take a quick moment to thank Manos, the company who is sponsoring this trip and who hooked us up with this tremendous suitcase and bag because this adventure would not be possible without them. It is in great part thanks to companies like Manos that we can elevate the quality of the content and bring you on epic adventures like this. Manos makes premium luggage and travel accessories with a focus on simplicity and timelessness. This is their hybrid carry-on plus. It is made from unbreakable aerospace grade German polycarbonate. Every detail of this suitcase feels luxurious, from the handle to the vegan leather details and the antimicrobial interior fabric. And it pairs seamlessly with the Metro duffel bag, which can be secured to any mono suitcase when traveling. What I like most about this bag is the amount of different pouches and pockets that it has in and around it. It makes it super practical to have things that you need often when traveling at an arm's length, like your passport, chargers, etc. You can check out the mono suitcases and other travel accessories with the link down in the description. And you can also use code TIMDESAINT at checkout to get a special discount just for the viewers of this channel. Thanks again to Manos for sponsoring this video. Got a suit. suit. Yeah. Everything else is inside. Let's do this. <laughs> the most perfect outfit for no pressure, Viet, no pressure. After a quick pit stop to freshen up at the hotel, we grabbed all of our equipment and headed off on the road to the infamous Black Sand Beach. We need to think about how we're going to do this in terms of uh, 
the photo. Do you want to talk about like? Whoa, I'm on the curb. I'm really sorry. Ooh. What the fuck? Do you want to talk about how we want to set up the shot? Like, what kind of? Everyone <laughs> 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 oh, just ignored that. Like, nothing happened. <laughs> I want to talk about whether we're going to make it to the beach. The journey there was without a doubt the most visually stunning car ride that I've ever been on. We had the craziest, most breathtaking scenery surrounding us left, right, and center throughout the journey. So much so that we couldn't help ourselves to stop on the way to shoot some photos. run into the little deviation. The road was closed, so we couldn't go the route that we were supposed to go. So hopefully, we'll still make it on time. Yeah, we'll arrive right as the tide starts coming back up, so hopefully. <laughs> it's not too dangerous. What's good is we are going to get closer to golden hour, so if everything just works perfectly in sync. Everything is always working out. Whoa, do you see that? The, the clouds are so low over there. Oh wow. Crazy. Like, yeah, it's clearing up a lot. But I guess some good weather. We're still trending for 2.30, so I think we'll be good there. Okay, okay, okay. This might happen, guys. We might get the shot. We got this. What do you mean we might? We will get the shot, guys. We will get the shot. I think the perfect lighting would be a little bit gray, but with enough space within the clouds to have like some cool sun, sun rays coming yeah. up, coming through in golden hour with the tide low enough for me to walk onto the beach. <laughs> we have a shot, guys. We have a shot. Let's take the perfect outfit photo. Let's, Let's take, take the perfect take outfit photo. That. that right there. hours of traveling. Did we actually travel 14 hours? Yeah. Actually, it's 15 hours because the UK is one hour ahead. It was worth it though. Look at this. After a total of 15 hours, one train, one flight, three car rides, many, many coffees, a gin and tonic, a technical drone issue, and a weather scare, we had finally made it to the shoot location, to Reynes Fiara. And we were ready to take the photo. I am freezing. Oh. but we were not expecting what was waiting for us there. The beach was simply stunning and the skies had cleared up right on time, but there were a few other obstacles to our mission that we were not prepared for. Problem number one, the beach was packed with people. Tourists taking photos, couples on a beach walk, even people getting married. We knew it was a popular place, but we didn't expect it to be this packed. So we tried to get as far away as possible from the crowd while still getting a good shot of the beach and not turning our backs to the sea to avoid getting caught out by the waves. Problem number two, overexposure. We planned our schedule according to when the tide was at its lowest because it's impossible to shoot on that beach during high tide. And that low tide coincided with the sun being at its absolute peak in the middle of the day. And with the clouds completely cleared up, the sun was actually shining way too bright, which means that with no ND filter, the photos were coming out way too overexposed. Problem number three, the wind. The wind was absolutely crazy that day, which means that in 90% of the shots, the clothes were getting completely blown out, creating weird, unflattering shapes, especially on the trousers.
We stayed at the location for about two hours, trying to find the perfect composition and get that perfect shot. I wanted to get this really clean, airy shot with absolutely no one in the photo but me in that black Jacquemus suit, the Saint Laurent boots with a very simple pose to not distract from the beauty of that landscape and the outfit. Just breathing in the nature around me, standing on this majestic black sand beach. And then we noticed these two large peaks in the distance just randomly probing out of the water. And I thought this is the perfect setup to frame myself in the photo, using those two peaks to draw the eye towards the subject. And so we shot, and shot, and shot. The photos were coming out great, but it felt like something was missing. They didn't portray the exact feeling I wanted them to portray, but we were relentless. We kept shooting, trying different things, different angles, seeing what we could change to improve the photo. But then it hit us, right in our face. The sun started setting, the clouds were starting to peek back in, and it got darker, until all that was left were these magical, warm, orangey sun rays piercing that cluster of clouds, casting this dim blend of pink, orange and yellow hues onto the water and the beach. And we knew that was it. Nature came with a helping hand and gave us the perfect lighting. Even the tourists had left the beach, leaving us with this immense empty black shore. All the elements were aligned for us to get the perfect outfit photo. I think we have it. I think yeah. we have it. I think amongst everything we shot, I think we got it. I need. Got the photo! Show me. Oh shit. Wow. Looks good, right? It's actually gorgeous. That is the photo. What an epic adventure that was. I am so happy with the outcome. Now, is it the absolute best photo in the world? Of course not. But this was not about taking the absolute best outfit photo possible. It wasn't about the technicalities or the science of it. It was about the art the journey of it all, the magic of bringing something from within here and here into real life. And maybe sometime I'll make another video focus more on the step-by-step -step process of taking a good outfit photo, from the shooting to the editing. But today I just wanted to tell a story, the story of a guy who decided to go back to his roots and satisfy his inner creativity by chasing this dream photo and turning it into reality. my friends. Well, that was close now. <laughs> we are finally about to take off to Iceland. Bro, are you feeling the, the heated seat right now? My ass is on fire right now. Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry everyone. I'll go, I'll See go. Daisy. Don't panic. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. You alright? What's going on? I'm cold, man. <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely freezing. I am freezing. freezing. Oh. Guys. High five. Did it. Did it. Did it. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> we can do it again. There we go. <laughs> <laughs>